Welcome back to my crazy life. Hey, this is a place called Fiber. Go see what it's about. Hurry up, stay with me. So these traveling salespeople, they never miss, they never miss a show. If there's an event, they're gonna be there set up selling their things to whoever will buy them. So far it looks like mostly things for sale. There's a park over here, so I don't know. Let's go that way. selling food here. I don't know what gold balls are, but I don't know if I want to try those. That sounds strange to me. Yep. Well, you can't go wrong with a hot dog and processed cheese, can you? <laughs> These are all crafting buildings done by local, uh, local, I guess, local groups, and it's like, it's like all local materials. It's pretty cool. It's pretty dark, but let's check it out anyway. It's fun. So each neighborhood, or what would you have it, uh, they all come up with these designs and they compete with each other. It's a fairly regular thing I've seen. Oh, this is my favorite side. I like the architecture of everything. Here about crossing a great roof. Hungry. 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 neat chandelier. That's some kind of big root crop. You can eat this big huge thing. I don't have a pot big enough to cook it in, but you can eat it. So this guy here is made out of palm seeds. Not coconuts, but a different variety, but it's a palm seed. That's uh, very creative. I 
know the lighting's pretty bad on some of this. It's uh, not an ideal camera that I'm using, but I'm doing my best with what I have right now. We'll talk about that later. a little better view of those palm scenes we were looking at earlier. Taking a look at some of their uh, weaving work and baskets. These are Mountain Dew bottles. Each one is a different, made into different uh, flowers and plants. But they're like 20 ounce Mountain Dew bottles. Creative, creative, creative. I'll let you guys go ahead and try to pronounce that one. These little yellow woven baskets are actually what they, they make steamed rice in it. I don't know exactly how they cook it, but it's cool. like a little clay clay stove. Just feed the wood in from the side, put your pot on top. Coconut husks and bamboo. Good to add some color and it's neat looking. Trimmed in corn. It's the dried corn on the side of the highway, they won't sell you. It's a woven basket, but it's also a perfectly functional chandelier. With the green bamboo ceiling offsetting the color. They're using native brooms as a decoration on the back, and I would rather definitely rather use my broom as a decoration than actually have to sweep the floors, because that's a lot more fun. This one, this one comes with a native bucket. Those are fans. The dark round circles are uh, floats from, from the fish nets. This is all palm, palm or bamboo. And this one here is using a uh, broken string light. They've got a native chandelier inside. 
it might be a little grass hut, but they've got they've got style. Time for dinner. Someone's got to have some food in here I want to eat. Barbecue, barbecue, barbecue. Barbecue. Fish filet, cordon bleu. Mm. Fishy fishes. Hello. Thank you. Squidward. Hello. That may be the star of the show right there. Ice cream. <laughs> so we'll start with uh, barbecue chicken on a stick, barbecue pork on a stick, kind of everyone sells the same thing, so they got 20 people all selling the same thing, so you just kind of pick one to go with it. The fish filet and cordon bleu was out of stock, of course, that happens a lot, but you kind of get your hopes up and they get dashed, but it's okay. Okay, back to the ice cream shop. We've got three different flavor sundaes, so there's a strawberry, a chocolate, and a mango. And they're about 50 cents each, so let's try all three. Llama. Have a good day. <laughs> okay, guys. Sorry it's dark. Sorry it's a day late. You can't win them all, but. That's a wrap. We'll see you down the road.